I'm testing out a new prototype from Mac Lifter Kits. Their new kit replaces the front bumper clips to help with the dreaded bumper gap. I'll put a link to them in the video description below. Now I'm not sure which side this goes on, but it basically goes here and should stop the bumper from sagging. I currently have quick latches installed to fix my gap issue, but I'm going to have to remove the hardware on the back side and install the original OEM bolts and clips. There's also an optional reinforcement tab that goes under the tabs on the bumper if your existing ones are too damaged. Start by removing this 10mm screw here and this clip. For the clip, use a flathead to rotate it horizontal. Then take a trim tool here to lift it up. And then we can pull the plastic pin straight back and out. And then we can lift the clip loose. With the screw removed, I can pull the bumper away, but since I have the quick latch installed, I had to depress this button here first. Before I continue the install, I'll need to remove the quick latch hardware and reinstall the original headlight bolts and clips that I saved. This is one of the bolt and retainer clips that I reinstalled, and the quick latch hardware I removed. So this is how your original bumper clip should appear. With the screw and bolt removed, we can pop out the bumper clip. There's some tabs behind here holding it in place. It feels like I just need to push up on them. And there's also some behind this one spot. They need to be depressed this way to release them. It also looks like there's one on this top part here as well. Here's the bumper clip. I used my trim tool to depress the tab on this side, as well as on the other side, coming up from underneath like this. I didn't have to depress the tabs on the top part because I was able to rotate the bumper clip away from the fender and then pull it down and off. The new clip I showed at the intro was for the other side, so this is the one for the passenger side. You can see the mounting holes line up with the OEM clip. The prototype is missing the mounting hole on the corner of the clip like the original, which secures the bumper here, but it will be added to the version 2 design, as the other two testers, Blair and Brandon, as well as myself, have already sent our feedback to the manufacturer. I used the original bolt to secure the front of the clip, but the original clip has the screw mount built into it, so I don't have anything on the fender to screw into. Instead, I'll need to use the supplied bolts, nuts, and washers to secure the back of the new clip with the larger washer and nut going behind the fender. That looks pretty good. I might look into a way to keep the bolt from spinning so I only have to tighten the nut on back. Alright, with the clip in place, let's look at the reinforcement tab. My bumper tabs are looking a little rough, but I don't think I'll need to install this. It'll go underneath like this. Blair had to install this on his bumper since his was damaged, and I believe he just epoxied it into place. Here's my quick solution to keep the bolt from spinning. It makes tightening the nut much easier. I also drilled a hole to secure the corner of the bumper. I'm just making the hole a little bigger so I can use the factory screw. Again, version 2 of the clip will include the mounting hole and fresh bolts. That should do. Now to lift the tabs up starting with the front so I can slip them over the clip. I found it was much easier to leave the back of the clip loose so I could pull it down and then get the bumper tabs over it. Much easier. Now I just need to come around back and tighten the nut. The reason I have to install it this way is that the clip has no leeway for me to get the back corner of the bumper slipped over the clip easily. I did request to have the clip shortened slightly, and that will be applied to the version 1 release. I just installed the corner screw. It does stick out a little bit here, but Blair and Brandon didn't have this issue on their cars. The manufacturer will adjust the angle of the clip for the version 1 so that it doesn't stick out. Let's see how it holds up, because the front splitter on my bumper will pull the bumper down at highway speeds. I'm pressing down fairly hard here, but it's keeping it nice and secure. Now to reinstall this clip pin, and then do the other side. If your OEM bumper clips aren't doing the job, and you want to get these new ones, I'll have more info and a link to them in the video description below. As of posting this video, they are on pre-order for version 1, which they're aiming to have released before the end of the year, and version 2 coming out sometime next year. I hope this helps you out. 
If you haven't hit subscribe to my channel yet, please do so now, and as always, thank you for watching.